Do you have some exciting news to share? Imagine this as you go about your day. The Canada Revenue Agency CRA makes the unexpected announcement that anyone receiving the Canada Pension Plan CPP will get a $2,600 extra payment. Isn't it similar to winning a tiny lottery? This windfall is like a beam of sunshine on a gloomy day it arrives just when you need it and gives your finances a much needed boost. Given the recent events, this bonus check couldn't have arrived at a more ideal moment. But there's still more. Put June 12th on your calendars, as that's when your bank account or mailbox will get this nice surprise. It is akin to having an additional cause for celebration this summer. We are aware that you undoubtedly have inquiries, such as how this occurred. What's the deal? Don't worry though, worry though. We're going to explain everything to you in clear, understandable language in this video. Everything will be covered, including how to get your bonus check and what you may do with the money. Although the exact reasons for this unexpected pension distribution are yet unknown, officials have pointed to two main causes of present excess in CPP funds and a desire to assist seniors in managing the growing cost of living. CRA Commissioner Bob Hamilton announced the decision at a press conference. After crunching the numbers, we determined that the Canada Pension Plan is in a secure enough position to afford distributing some of the surplus to current beneficiaries, Hamilton said. We recognize an opportunity to provide our most vulnerable elderly citizens with much needed additional cash since inflation has driven up expenses for retirees nationwide. According to the KRA, on June 12th, the $2,600 payments will be made automatically based on current CPP rolls. That implies that retirees can get the bonus money without applying or doing anything else. Commissioner Hamilton stated that if you are receiving CPP payments as of June 1st, 2024, this $2,600 bonus will be immediately added to your following payment cycle deposit on June 12th. It makes sense that hearing of sudden windfalls of $2,600 is making senior citizens and their families in Canada happy and relieved. An additional $2,600 may pay for months worth of expenses for many people on fixed incomes, including rent, mortgage payments, groceries, utilities, transportation, and medical bills. I'm simply overburdened. Upon hearing about the bonus, 72-year-old Winnipeg widow Marjorie Clemens gasped, this is going to make such a big difference for me. Since my husband died away, my main sources of income have been my CPP and old age pension, and with costs growing so quickly lately, it's becoming more and more difficult to make ends meet. An additional $2,600 will go a very long way toward covering my summer and fall expenses and paying off some bills. Bruce and Diane Porter, a retired couple from Moncton, Brunswick, were overjoyed to learn that they would be receiving an additional $5,200 in income from their two bonus CPP payments. Diane, 68, stated, we hope to use the majority of it towards some home improvements we've been putting off, like installing a walk-in shower to make bathing easier. However, we'll also utilize some to celebrate our 45th anniversary with a wonderful weekend getaway. This bonus is truly auspicious. The unexpected bonus payments may also lessen the financial burden of caring for elderly relatives for younger Canadians whose parents or grandparents are receiving CPP benefits. Karina Mooney, 51, of Toronto, stated, My mother lives in an assisted care facility, and even with prudent savings, it's been tough covering her monthly costs with how much they've gone up in just the last year or so. Receiving a $2,600 bonus for her CPP will provide me with much-needed breathing room to ensure she is well taken care of. Naturally, not everyone is overjoyed about the significant bonus announcement from the CARE. Considering the growing national deficit, some opponents have questioned if it is the wisest use of money to provide seniors with bonuses worth billions of dollars. Giving Canada's pensioners thousands of dollars in bonuses may be politically advantageous, but in reality, Garrett Morris, a spokesman for Canadian taxpayers, said that it's merely pushing that financial burden onto future generations. The CPP, old age security, and other benefits provide seniors with a substantial amount of financial support from the taxes that workers contribute to the system. It seems unreasonable to add a $2,600 incentive on top of that. The CPP's present $450 billion asset reserve, which the CRIA maintains will be sustainable for providing full benefits for decades to come even after the bonus withdrawals, will be used to cover the entire $12.5 billion cost of the one-time pension payouts. Commissioner Hamilton added that there is no expectation that the payments will affect personal income taxes. He made it clear that the $2,600 incentive will be non-taxable and non-reportable income, meaning that retirees can take full advantage of the bonus payment levels without facing any deductions or changes to their overall tax situation. 
To bolster support from Canada's influential senior voting demographic, the opposition maintains that the bonus scheme is little more than an expensive re-election gimmick by the governing party. The timing of the surprise, which came only weeks before the next federal campaign cycle's planned summer kickoff dates, has drawn criticism for being incredibly politically calculated. The reasons behind the bonus bonanza, however, probably don't matter as much to the millions of Canadian seniors who will soon have an extra $2,600 to support their retirement funds, given the very real effects it will have on their quality of life and peace of mind. Experts in personal finance are already advising retirees to begin considering their options realistically for making the most of the windfall. Among the suggestions are to pay off high interest credit card debt and to budget for future house and medical expenses. Contribute a chunk to charities or organizations that are dear to your heart, invest some in a high interest savings account or market portfolio, and spend some on unfinished business or family adventures. The most crucial thing is to use the $2,600 bonus to address your current top financial priorities or requirements, says Edmonton-based retirement planning expert Brandon Bremner. Pay off any high interest bills, ensure you have an emergency reserve for future costs, and permit yourself to use some of the money for enhancing your standard of living. However, remember that this bonus is a one-time offer, so don't think of it as a source of ongoing income that you can permanently change the way you live. The sentiment among Canada's elderly population appears to be a mixture of thanks, relief, and unavoidably a certain amount of cynicism as the clock runs out before transfers into seniors' bank accounts on Tuesday, June 12th. However, very few would contest that having an extra $2,600 in their pocket wouldn't be beneficial in some way. So there's no doubting the short-term impact will make many Canadian seniors' lives a little bit easier this summer. Uh, even though discussion about the Cray's motivations and longer-term implications of making such an expensive philanthropic plunge into the CPP's pension reserve pool may continue to rage. How to maximize the $2,600 CPP benefit for seniors. While everyone's personal circumstances and priorities are different, many seniors are already considering how best to make the most of this extra money infusion in anticipation of the surprise $2,600 bonus bonus payments that CPP members will get next week. Here are some ideas for making the best use of that $2,600. Pay off high interest loans, such as personal loans or outstanding credit card amounts. Over time, significant savings might result from the removal of onerous interest payments. Build up an emergency savings account that can cover three or six months worth of living expenditures in case of unforeseen expenses. For seniors on fixed incomes, one of the biggest risks is not having a financial safety net. Contribute a portion to long overdue house maintenance and improvements, particularly to accessibility modifications that prolong your independence and keep you away from more expensive options. Pay for growing medical expenses such as insurance, equipment, prescription medications, and assisted living that are not fully covered by basic coverage. Set aside some money for prudent investments in order to maximize growth and income. Take a little prudent spend to enhance your quality of life, such as a balanced portfolio GICR, high interest savings account whether it's traveling, buying mobility aids, enjoying activities with loved ones, or updating technology. Retirement is a term for a purpose, after all. Of course, it's also a commendable idea to think about contributing a portion of your income to any organizations or causes that are important to you. Although $2,600 is a substantial amount, a careful strategy for balancing personal rewards with financial obligations will help guarantee that the bonus payout has the greatest possible positive impact on each retiree's particular circumstances.